Congress passes stupid laws all the time. Um, so let's just get that on the board first. But, you know, I think this has actually been a talking point of the Republican Party way before Trump was ever even like publicly considering a run for president. When Greg Abbott, who is the current governor of Texas, was running for attorney general in 2008, he ran a televised ad in which like vague brown people were scrambling over a wall and then voting, right? Like this has been part of the Republican like nighttime scare your kids like roster forever and so i think trump is seeing this as something that unites two sort of disparate um parts of his base which is like election integrity and immigration we just talk about them at the same time right like it's that's what it is and 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 i think that there's like there is a real vein of that and like needing to unite these two things and What's interesting and like the reason that I know that this is not a problem is because this has been like fully litigated. So like first, before I say any of this, I will say it is already illegal in every single state for non-citizens to cast a ballot at the federal level. It is already illegal. So the reason the law was stupid is because they basically made something illegal, quote unquote, that was already illegal. Like it's hugely redundant and totally pointless super yeah now it's super duper illegal and really bad guys and so that's not great like if a non-citizen votes they can get deported they have been deported for voting right but the og dude on this like venn diagram of like immigration and election integrity circle is Chris Kobach, who is currently the attorney general for Kansas, um, but was formerly the, the Kansas secretary of state and got the state to pass a whole law like mandating that in order to register to vote, you had to present proof, like documentary proof of citizenship, like show up with your birth certificate, show up with your passport. Like, I cannot tell you the number of people I've been like, where is my passport or my birth certificate? I don't know. Like, it's a pretty big barrier to registering to vote for a lot of people, especially people who move a lot or are poor. The point is, he passes this law, he enforces it. 30,000 people have their voter registrations like held in limbo because they don't come to the DMV with a birth certificate because who does that? And then somebody sues and takes him to court, goes all the way up to the federal court, and he has to, in court, present proof of, you know, some mass problem of non-citizen registration in order to sort of like justify this law. And he can't. He cannot. He finds a clerk who I've since spoken to um, and was like, I don't know why I did that. Right. Like finds a clerk to like document every tiny instance of any non-citizen accidentally or otherwise registering to vote in one county, in Sedgwick County. He finds 30, 25 of whom had done so accidentally. And it was the fault of the DMV. And only one who'd ever even attempted to cast a ballot and it didn't go through, right? So the point is, right, even when somebody incredibly determined to find this has attempted to find this and has an entire state of county clerks at its at like his disposal in order to find this could not find this. And I think like the, you know, Occam's razor suggests Not that like they're really good at hiding, but it's just, this is just not happening. And so all of this effort at sort of like non-citizen voting is really allowing us to sort of skate over real problems in elections that could use some legislation or some funding. Um, But instead we're focused on this stuff. It's very silly.